Oke. Okay. A very very blessed Chinese New Year to all who are here on site and online. Okay. In Psalms 115 verses 13 to 15 it says, "He will bless those who fear the Lord." of great and lowly. May the Lord richly bless you and your children and your children's children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. So wish everybody a very, very blessed Chinese New Year. All right. Now today, the exhortation, I've entitled it, The Heart of God. Okay, should we put on the slides? Yeah. The Bible is full of wonderful stories. And today I've taken it from the book of Jonah. Yeah. The next slide. Okay. Let's read the precious word of God. Jonah chapter 1 verse 1 says, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tashit. He went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went abroad and sailed for Tashit to flee from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to his own God. And they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck, where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us so that he will, we will not perish. Verse 7, Then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast locks to find out who is responsible for this calamity. They cast lots and the lot fell on Jonah. So they asked him, tell us, who is responsible for making all this trouble for us? What kind of work do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven who made the earth and the dry land. This terrified them and they asked, What have you done? They knew he was running away from the Lord because he had already told them so. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, What shall we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? Jonah said, Pick me up and throw me into the sea, he replied, and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. Instead, the men did their best to row back to land, but they could not, for the sea grew even wilder than before. Then they cried out to the Lord, Please, Lord, do not let us die for taking this man's life. Do not hold us accountable for killing an innocent man. For you, Lord, have done as you please. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard, and the raging sea grew calm. At this, the man greatly feared the Lord, 
and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows to him. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Next slide. Yeah, this is the, the map. You see where is Joppa? Joppa to Tashit is 2,500 miles, whereas God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, which was only 550 miles. He went the opposite direction. Okay, so next slide. This is the small ship that Joppa probably used. Yeah, next slide. Jonah, yeah, there's Jonah. Probably he'll look like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, next one. Yeah, they threw all the cargo in order to lighten the ship. Okay, next one. And finally, they threw Jonah into the sea. Okay. Now, when I was reading this, I was looking at myself. It reminded me of my own life. I also ran away. <laughs> my mom has never been to any formal school, illiterate in that sense. But she told us, the most, the day that we look forward to is Sunday. Sunday is the best day. You know why? You can go to church and worship the Lord and listen to the messages from the pastors testimonies from brothers and sisters. She loved that. And she told us, one day, uh, you must go up, uh, speak uh, like the pastor. Uh. So when we heard that, we all ran away like Jonah. <laughs> no, 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 no way. <laughs> we did. What can we speak? <laughs> so we ran away like Jonah. But here in this case, you look at Jonah. God spoke. Jonah heard, and Jonah was very honest. I look at Jonah and say, Jonah was a very honest man. You know what's the meaning of Jonah? I searched the net and I, find, I found out this. Jonah, son of Amitai. What does Amitai stand for? What does it mean? Amitai in Hebrew means truth. And Jonah means dove or peace. So in his life, when they caught him, when the captain caught him and they asked him, who are you? Jonah was very truthful. I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord, the maker of the sea and dry land. He did not hide. He was honest. And this great storm came because of me. I know it's because of me. Throw me into the sea. <laughs> he said, throw me into the sea. If I were one of the sailors, I could have said this. I said, Jonah, since you are the cause of all this, this Terrible storm. Jump into the sea yourself. La. <laughs> Don't ask me to throw you into the sea. You know, I, we throw you into the sea. We are responsible for... If you die, what happened? <laughs> we are responsible. We are accountable for that. Why don't you just jump into the sea yourself? <laughs> you say, why? Why should... Jonah asked the sailors to throw him into the sea. Jonah was speaking the truth. In life, we also learn from Jonah, speak the truth. It is me, it is because of this, this thing happened. And Jonah said, throw me. And Jonah knew his God so well. 
There's something so beautiful about Jonah. He knew, if you throw me into the sea, the storm is over. It did happen. The moment Jonah was thrown into the sea, he became calm. And that testimony, you know what happened to all the sailors? They believe in Jonah's God, the one who created heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land. And they offered a sacrifice to the Lord immediately. Wow! Salvation came out of that great storm. Jonah was honest. He ran away, but then God turned it around to save many sailors. The story of Jonah tells me that we, it happens to me, it happens to so many people, oftentimes we hide and hide and hide, keep hiding and not willing to tell the truth. But if we, who are called by God, are willing to speak the truth in all occasions, many things will change for God, for the glory of God. Jonah did that and miracle happened. And when he went into Nineveh to preach, he only said eight words. Forty days. 40 days and Ninima will be overturned. He preached a, such a short message to the city of Nineveh and they believed him. They repented. Not only did they repent, the king said, yes, we must turn away from our wicked ways. Not only must every human being put on sackcloth, the animals also do that. Wow, the dogs and cats and cattle are huh, also put on sackcloth and fast. <laughs> amazing, amazing things happen in that wicked city. When God spoke through Jonah, the reluctant prophet, miracle happened. It's not because of Jonah, it's because God. That's why I put here, the very heart of God. God's heart is that none should perish. Yes, Nineveh was a very wicked city, and yet it was called a great city. And God loved them as well. That's why he sent Jonah. And Jonah ran away because Nineveh was the greatest enemy of Israel. You go and bless your enemy. Wow, no, 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 no. I won't. I will curse my enemy. <laughs> I'll run. So that's why Jonah ran away. And Jonah knew so well that when he spoke to them, God will turn their hearts around and they will be safe. He didn't like that. And, he, and Jonah was even angry with God. He said, you see, I told you that. I told you, I knew from the very beginning. If I go, they will repent and they will, you will not destroy. I don't want that. <laughs> you see, it's very, very human of us. And he was very truthful. I like that. Truthful people. And God can use a truthful Jonah, even though he was reluctant. I was reluctant. 
in many occasions it happened to me i was reluctant also brother ho wanted to bring me to the prison for prison ministry Aya, no la. Why of all the places you want to go to prison, I was reluctant. I said, honest, I said, but I, I, I appreciate Brother Ho. He said, because of you. <laughs> the man of God wanted to bring me to prison. I, what can I say? Uh? <laughs> okay, la, okay, la, let me go. I don't know what to say. Uh. You do it. I am only an observer. Uh. <laughs> okay. I was reluctant, like Jonah. So over the over years, I learned to be slightly more obedient. <laughs> so when Pastor Malcolm asked me to 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 share this exhortation on second day of Chinese New Year, I was cracking my head, and I was I tell you, I have nightmare. <laughs> I was preparing and preparing this, and then said, Lord. What is the message for your people? I have a great time, difficult time, and every time I am here sharing the word, you will notice that my wife is not around. <laughs> Do you know why? Because she said, "I'll stay at home and pray for you because I know you can't." <laughs> so it is by the grace of God whatever is shared is is God is the grace of God is the love of God is the mercy of God is the compassion of God that the word will come not me definitely is not me when we go into the prison and share the good news it's not because of us it's because the word that they are reading for themselves in the Bible, the very word spoke to them, and they they were changed. Their hearts were softened. They changed, and they call upon the living God, just like the sailors. Immediately they realized, and they knew, hey. We have been worshiping so many gods. Small letter G. We forgot there is a Lord. L O R D. Full capital letters. I remember Brother Ho shared that the Lord uh, is spelled uh, full L O R D. Capital letters. Who is your Lord? Who is your God? Who is my God? Who am I worshipping? We are so, so blessed. That's why I don't wish you Happy New Year. I wish you Blessed New Year. Everybody can be happy, 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 but deep, deep, down in your heart do you know that you are blessed by the living god who are you who am i i was tasked to share with the mtc students three of them say who are you terry are you just terry no who are you are you a believer do you know Jesus? Yes. You know who are you? You are a child of God. John 1 12. For those who believe, you are given the authority to become a child of God. So I gave them this story. You know why? There is this American soldier. Went to the Vietnam War, wounded, came back on the wheelchair after that can't do no more job and he wanted to see the president to look for a job still have to continue to eat and live he went to see the president no way was he able to meet the president of the united states so he was very sad and he went to the garden he was sitting down he looked so sad disappointed a young man came alone he said hey uncle why do you look so sad can I do something for you? Yes, 
I want to see the president. You want to see the president? I'm an ex-soldier. I serve my nation, man. Now, I'm on wheelchair. I can't walk. I need to eat. <laughs> I need to live. Okay, then. Come with me. So the young man brought this soldier to see the president. Why I asked the three students, tell me, why was this young man able to see the president without appointment? You know why? He's a nobody, just a young man. Because he is the son of the president. As a son, you want to see your father. Do you need appointment? No. You can knock. You can just walk into. Before you reach the door, the door already opened by the guard and say, Come in. You are the son. Similarly for us, we are not only the son of a president. We are the son of the Most High God. Do you know how blessed you are? Whatever you have in life, you want to bring before your Father in heaven, you just go direct. And you will be blessed. Not only can you yourself be blessed, the people that you meet will be blessed as well. Because you bring the soldier to see the president, the president blessing, okay, give him a job. No issue. Immediately it's done. As a son of the Most High God, do you know how blessed you are? You can bless and you can bless so many people. So during this Chinese New Year, go and visit and bless them. Visit your friends, relatives, and who still do not know, just say, Jesus loves you, let me pray for you. <laughs> Be brave. And I told them, you know what? You bring your children along with you, right? Let the children, children see the grandma. Hey, grandma, you have your leg painful, huh? I pray for you. If the grandchildren pray for the grandma for the legs, uh, painful leg, I tell you, uh, the grandma suddenly hold out. So happy to see your grandchildren praying for you. What's wrong with that? Bring your children and grandchildren. Teach them to pray simple prayer. Grandma, grandpa, Jesus loves you. Let me pray for you. Wow, enough. <laughs> they will be so blessed to see their own children and children's children know the Lord and live it out. Who am I? Son, a child of the Most High God. Go away with this Chinese New Year, knowing deep, deep down in your heart, you are a child of the Most High. And wherever you are, people around you will be blessed because you are willing to bless them. God told Abraham, I'll bless you and the people you bless will be blessed and you'll be a blessing to the nations of the world. Every believer is a great blessing. We are blessed to bless others. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to say thank you again to you because, because, because you love us and because we believe and we are given the authority to be called children of the most high what a blessing what an honor what a privilege thank you lord thank you lord for this new season the festival the spring festival or the chinese new year or the nuruna new year 
Everybody is happy, but we don't want them just to be happy. We want them to know that they are blessed by the living God. And they will bless others. This world will come to acknowledge you as the Lord, as the maker of heaven and earth. Thank you, Lord. For blessing us thank you for holding our hands thank you for changing our hearts lord we don't want to be reluctant we want to be willing vessels for your glory we thank you we bless you in jesus most precious name amen god bless you all